Hi, I'm David with Portrait Displays, and in this video, I'd like to tell you about some exciting changes coming to both Cowman Studio and Cowman Ultimate, starting with our 5.16.4 release and continuing over the next several months. For years, Cowman's powerful workflows have enabled an unparalleled, easy to use approach to the task at hand. Whether calibrating a Cowman ready display, building custom lookup tables, or assessing display performance through advanced analysis tools such as gamut rings, customers have consistently praised the highly intuitive experience they provide. But we've had a problem at portrait displays that has been bothering us for quite some time. Typically, a workflow is designed with the current features and functionality available at the moment of inception. But Cowman development never stops, and we continue to enhance the underlying application. As we focus on new makes and models, older workflows tend to get neglected and, over time, this has led to a very disjointed set of workflows. Some were made years ago and have a very different user interface and calibration approach that, while useful, can be significantly improved today. Newer workflows may feel and operate completely different than earlier counterparts. With Cowman's improvements over the past year, we're now able to merge workflows together to create a singular experience for calibrating signal formats such as SDR, HDR, and Dolby Vision. But we're not stopping with just the workflow. We're optimizing how our workflows are organized, making them easier to find. For our Cowman Ready partners, you'll find an all new Cowman Ready category that simply lists the manufacturer. Select the manufacturer's specific workflow and just get started. No more switching between a workflow for SDR and another for HDR. As we take a look inside the new workflows, each starts with a new setup page walking you through a set of options to set up the task at hand. This may include choosing the make, model, display type, or signal range you wish to calibrate in. From there, we move into the hardware setup page with actions on the left and guidance on the right. You may notice that step three is no longer display connect, but pattern insertion. As we have built these new workflows, we've also been actively testing displays to determine a more precise recommendation for pattern insertion. This has yielded new settings across all displays. Next up, our new calibration targets page. Notice that we now offer the ability to set both the white and black targets right in the workflow. This really helps with optimizing displays that benefit from using the target white level, such as the Flanders Scientific XMP series of monitors. Our next page I think you're really going to love. For years, the calibration industry has had a constant debate as to what constitutes pre-calibration. Some believe a pre-calibration report should be representative of how a display is currently being used or viewed. If a display is in vivid mode, you would run the pre-calibration measurement in vivid mode. Of course, there's another train of thought here. What if I'm in vivid mode, but I want to calibrate filmmaker mode? Would the pre-calibration be in vivid mode, or would I want to run a pre-calibration in filmmaker mode? After all, I'm calibrating filmmaker mode, I may want to understand what that particular mode was before it was calibrated. This debate has been going on and on between color scientists, calibrators, and end users since the dawn of calibration. And while we may not have a clear winner, we think we've solved the problem. For this, we've created a workflow page called Current State. This new workflow page is used throughout Calman for the current state, pre-calibration, and post-calibration results. It allows for a comprehensive overview of the display's performance, with 25% saturation sweeps, a color checker chart in SDR, and our all-new HDR content colors for both HDR and Dolby Vision. There's also a 21-point grayscale. We think this strikes the right balance of measurements and speed while providing a detailed overview of the display's accuracy. But we didn't just stop with the updated charts. You'll notice that each data set now has Delta E2000 and Delta EITP graphs clearly visible. And if you want to see the data that correlates to these measurements, you can click the top right corner where it says Show Data Grid. If you're like me, you often wonder, is my error in the luminance tracking or is it in the chromaticity? Well, we made that easy too. There's an Include Luminance Error checkbox that allows for a fast toggle to assess exactly where the error occurs. And these new pages include a display performance summary across the top with metrics such as average and maximum Delta E2000 and Delta EITP, along with maximum and minimum luminance. Of course, with so much wonderful data on a single page, we thought, how can I easily zoom in and get a better view of how my colors are tracking? For that, we added a zoom. Just click on the magnifying glass in the top right corner of the CIE charts and you'll get an enlarged view of the CIE. With the current state profiled, it's time to connect to the display. 
you'll find the interface on the left with the guidance on the right again. Once connected, choose the picture mode you wish to calibrate and you're ready to measure that particular mode. Jumping ahead, we have an all new luminance page where you can set the target luminance for your calibration and Calman does the rest. We've built in our AutoCal technology for setting luminance and Calman now does the math for you behind the scenes, setting the pre-calibration luminance higher to accommodate for the estimated light loss from the calibration process. It's really great. And now we have a new 3D LUT page that has guidance on the left and a larger CIE chart in the middle. This middle CIE chart will illustrate the native readings of the display as they're taken, giving you the view of the display's native performance while profiling. After the 3D LUT process is completed, Calman will automatically load the LUT into the display and then perform a saturation sweep as you see on the right to ensure the LUT loaded properly. And lastly, we added a new comparison page where you can compare the pre-calibration with the post-calibration results, illustrating where the display was and where it is now. These are just some of the new workflow pages coming to Calman Studio and Calman Ultimate. We're starting with our Calman Ready partner workflows and continuing through the analysis and tools. We think you're gonna love it. Not only have the Calman workflows gotten a facelift, but we've redesigned the report to correlate with the new workflow. There's an all new cover page summarizing the data from the calibration session, allowing for better use of space throughout the entire report. And reports are now contextually aware. If you've performed a current state, the current state page is visible. And if you skip a stage like current state, those pages of the report will automatically be hidden. You'll no longer print a calibration report that has empty page data and it's all automatic. It's really cool. With this much needed update, Calman is more aligned with our customers' needs than ever and we can't wait for you to experience it for yourself. What do you think about these new updates and which side of the pre-calibration argument do you fall on? Let us know in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest Calman updates. We'll see you on the next one.